So for today's video, I wanted to talk about the basics or the frequently asked questions na nakikita ko on Facebook groups na related to the stock market. Kasi an old college friend of mine reached out to me last week and he asked me about dividends. And sinabi niya din sa akin na nag-open na daw siya ng account under a stock broker. I think more and more people of my age are starting to participate in the local stock market natin here in the Philippines and I think it's a good time for me to talk about the basic things that I didn't know before that I think uh, most beginner traders and investors are asking themselves. I am not by any means an expert in the stock market but I guess my 3 years worth of experience participating in the stock market could easily answer the basic questions that beginner traders or investors would ask themselves kasi I think siguro yun din yung tanong ko when I was starting out. When you're buying and selling stocks in the stock market, these are the two most common words that you will encounter. That is bid and ask. So basically, bid is just buy and ask is sell. So you will commonly see this in a table format and I will project one on your screen. So let's take a look, for example, yung Jollibee or JFC. As you can see here in table, there is price and there is size. Let's start first under the bid table. So ibig lang sabihin nito is size represents the number of shares and price is the amount. So if you look at the first row under the bid table, you can see that there's someone willing to buy 300 shares of Jollibee at 192.5 pesos. Then let's move under the ask table. So ito naman, this table represents the sellers. As you take a look at the first row under the ask table, there are people selling 121,750 shares of Jollibee at 194 pesos. So what bid and ask actually do is they determine the current price of a stock. So the current price of the stock is either the highest bid or the lowest ask depending on the most recent transaction that happened. So let me show you an example. I know this is a closing example pero let's just say na open yung market and ito yung current bid and ask table for simplicity's sake. So yung nangyari dyan is no one is selling lower than 194 pesos but people are willing to buy Jollibee at 194 pesos kaya yung naging current price niya is 194 pesos. Kaya yung naging current price is yung lowest ask. Let's present another example naman. Pero this time, yung highest bid yung naging current price na and not the lowest ask. For example, itong Ayala Land. As you can see, yung current price niya is at 39.65. Which is yung highest bid. And ba't hindi yung lowest ask yung naging current price niya, di ba? So basically, ang nangyari dyan is there are people willing to sell Ayala Land at 39.65 pesos Pero nobody wants to buy higher than 39.65 pesos kaya yun yung naging current price niya for that example. So the price of the stock is where the sellers and buyers meet halfway. As of the moment I'm making this video, yung current market hours natin is from 9am to 1pm. So if you watch this video at a later date, baka magbago na yan. So check yung market hours natin accordingly kasi uh, ito yung implement nilang market hours when the pandemic started. Pero from 9 a.m. to 9:30 a.m., that's just market pre-open. So meaning hindi pa talaga gagalaw yung presyo ng stock jan, but it will determine the opening price of the stock. So dito usually na confuse yung mga tao kasi dito ka makita ng sobrang taas na mga bid and sobrang baba na mga ask. And then parang but hindi gumagalaw yung presyo ng stock, de ba? So yon. What it will do kasi sa market pre-open is pagdating so from 9 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. iya average na lang lahat ng uh, bid orders and ask orders and then yung average size nun or yung average price nun yun yung magiging projected open or yung opening price ng stock na yun. Then from 9.30am up to 12.45pm that's actually when the market is open and then actively nagpa-fluctuate yung stock prices kasi people are trading their positions. Then from 12.45pm up to 12.50pm ito naman is yung pre-closing ng market hours. So dito, it's almost similar to pre-opening kasi hindi din gumagalaw yung stock prices dito. And by that by the time na dumating yung 12.50, i-average lahat ng bid position and ask position and yun na yung magiging closing price ng stock. Then from 12.50pm up to 1pm, that is yung runoff period. So dito naman, uh, you could only buy or sell the stocks at its closing price. Next, let's talk about board lot. So basically, Board lot determines the multiples of shares that you could buy or sell under a specific stock. Board lot is determined by the price range of the stock. So ito yung guide ng PSE dyan. Just pause the video if you want to take a longer look at this picture. 
So let's put some examples out there. For example, globe. If you take a look at globe, may kita mo yung board lot yan is five. So if you will buy and sell globe to stocks, dapat ang multiples yan is five. So pag bibili ka or magbebenta ka, it's either five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and so on and so on. Now let's take a look at Ayala Corp or AC. Pag tinda mo yung board lot yan, yung board lot yan is ten. So dapat when you buy or sell Ayala Corp, dapat multiples of ten yung pagbid mo and ask mo. Last but not the least, let's take a look at dito. Pag tinignan mo yung board lot ng dito, ang paboritong stock ng bayan, makita mo 100 yan. So, if you're going to buy or sell shares of dito, dapat multiples of 100. So, as you could see, the lower the price ng stock, the higher yung board lot niya. So, for example, last example natin dito is yung CPG. It's below 1 peso. So, yung board lot niyan is at 10,000. Last lang that's also worth mentioning then is yung different types of orders. So, talala ko lang siya as I was trading this day. So, ayun, uh, yung different types of orders under COL Financial. Pag yun yung broker mo, meron three types of orders under doon. Pero for different brokers, may iba't iba pang klase ng order. So, start with the most basic, yung day na order. So, pag yung term mo is under sa day order, if hindi na hindi na hit yung buy or sell mo yung yung price na yon wala na yung order mo so if you want to buy that stock or sell that stock again uh, the next day you have to punch yung order mo again kung naman naka GTC ka or good till cancel yung order mo is good for 60 days so uh, hanggat hindi mo kina cancel yon uh, papasok lang yun ng papasok ng papasok sa sa ano mo order mo the next coming 60 days for the last type of order, it's yung ATC or at the closing. So yung order mo doon, uh, pa magpapatchin lang siya or papasok lang siya sa exchange during the run of period. So sa dulo na sa closing na talaga ng market hours. Ito, lasa lang. I think a lot of people are not aware about this tip. Uh, you could actually ask your broker to execute a trade in behalf of you. So pwede mo silang tawagan to make a trade for you. Kasi I think this is this is important um, because of the recent weeks na nangyari, madaming online stockbroker platform na nag-crash and madaming hindi nakapag-execute ng trade nila dahil sa huge trading volumes at hindi kinaya ng mga server ng, ng mga stockbrokers natin dito sa Philippines. And pag ganun yung nangyari sa'yo and you need to execute a trade, I highly suggest na itry mo, tawagan yung broker mo to make a trade in behalf of you. I've tried it before, all you need is yung account number mo, yung password na account mo, yung stock kung ano yung kailangan mo execute, then yung number of shares and your price. And be aware na lang din na it will cost you more charges, yung sa broker's fee, ganun. But it will all be worth it kasi kung hindi ka, alam mo, kung hindi ka makapag-cut ng position mo and it's bleeding, ito mabagsak na yung stock. So I hope this will be helpful sa inyo if you experience this uh, in the future. So, ayun lang. If you want more technical videos about the stock market, you could check my previous videos sa trading playlist ko. So, ayun lang muna for this video. I hope this video will help you. And if you have more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to leave a like before you uh, click out of the video and subscribe if you aren't ready. So in lang muna. See you in the next video. Bye. Peace out.